Okay, uh, this is just a quick video um, to go over stuff that we covered today in class on heat treatment of steel. Um, so if you're absent, um, here's an opportunity to, or if you had a little bit of trouble with it, concentrating, this is an opportunity to just um, have a few of the, uh, the fundamentals explained again. So to find this work, you need to go to uh, modules and um, <coughs> once you're in modules, you scan down engineering products and heat treatment. Now there's two videos to watch here and I suggest you watch both of them. One's about 18 minutes, the other one's about nine minutes. They do a really great um, explanation of the stuff that's found in the Copeland text on pages 68 to 70. Um, and this is stuff on heat treatment and alloying. So heat treatment of steel is the main thing that's covered. And um, basically you modify the material by heat treating it and you change its properties to make it more appropriate for a given um, application in engineering. So if we scan down, um, <clears throat> this is the first stuff that we covered on the board. And um, if we look over here, we looked at um, under the uh, title of heat treatment of steel, we were looking at the grain structure. And we did this um, when we were talking about um, coal working as well. But you can see in this grain structure here, you've got ferrite, which is um, a soft and ductile element of steel. And you've got these um, particles here called perlite. And perlite can, is hard and strong. So the more perlite you have in the steel, the harder the steel will be. And the amount of perlite is dependent on the amount of carbon in the steel. So carbon is what makes the, one of the things that makes steel hard, the main thing. And um, once you get up to 0.8% of carbon, so you don't need a lot of carbon, um, you'll have 100% perlite and the steel will be about as hard as it can be uh, via carbon. And perlite, as you can see here, is made up of the white parts are just um, the ferrite, which is a soft and ductile material, but it's layered with um, a mixture of carbon and iron called iron carbide, which we sometimes call cementite. So these perlite grains are really strong. So that's the grain structure of, um, of steel. And I've got a little explanation here about crystals, which um, is relevant for the next part of the discussion when we talk about normalizing of steel and um, hardening of steel and tempering of steel. Um, so if you want to know about um, that crystal structure, um, you can find out or you can rehash what FCC and BCC is by going to modules. And it was in engineering fundamentals, so it's quite a while back that, um, and this is because of the textbook asked us to do that, um, in crystal structures. So engineering fundamentals, crystal structures. So, you know, if you do want to know what um, BCC and FCC is and all that sort of stuff, um, you can see here. Um, we've got, you know, body-centered cubic and face-centered cubic. So that's what that is about. So hopefully that will help also. A bit of revision. And um, that was the first part of the lecture on the grain structure of um, steel. And the next uh, video, uh, we'll be looking at uh, normalizing of steel. So um, by all means, um, have a look at um, those two videos and, um, and have a good think about the next stuff that's going to come up. See you in the next video.